Just imagine you're sailing along, okay, and you're going through a narrow gap between some islands, say between Scrub Island and Beef Island, just down here. Let's say we're traveling through there, suddenly, bam, no GPS, all right? We need to find a way of finding out where we are pretty quick. This is about staying cool, staying calm, remaining the captain, okay? You might have guests, friends on board, okay? Having an answer to this problem, super important. The answer to it is a three-point fix. Sailing virgin. What we're gonna learn about now okay, is taking a three-point fix. You do this, guys, when your GPS goes down. So you get hit by lightning, something like that, okay? Whatever, you've got no GPS, this little thing is gonna get you out of a bit of a scrape. First things first, so taking three bearings off three known objects with this hand bearing compass here. It's gonna give us a rough fix of where we are. Okay, it's gotta be three objects you know and can easily identify on the chart. These could be the ends of lands, okay? Radio towers, so headlands, radio towers. In non-tidal areas, boys, things like that. If there's church spires or something like that on the chart, prominent landmarks. No good like picking things like, oh, that island like miles over there. Then to find out it's not even on the chart you've got, not gonna help you. Okay. Let's say we're sailing here. Okay, we've got one island here, one island here, one island here. If we take a bearing off this one and this one, all that's gonna give us is one line. Like we said, if it's directly in front of you, directly behind you, all that's gonna give us straight line here and then one there not really three points is it that's two points done three bearings but getting one line out of it so what you want is a nice spread so if there's another one here like that a nice fan like that in sort of 90 degrees if you can manage it so you're getting a good intersection three separate lines now if we're traveling this way you've got to think about what order we're going to do this which ones are going to change the most and we can sort of see this guy on the beam here if we're traveling along in this direction this one is going to change the most it takes time to do this. So, we're gonna take this one last. We're gonna shoot this guy just off our bow first, this one to the stern, the last one on the beam. It's a magnetic hand bearing compass, okay? So we need to convert this into true lines. We're taking magnetic bearings, we need to turn them into true so that we can plot them on our chart because everything we do on the chart is in true. Okay, so we need to apply our variation and that's gonna vary with wherever you are in the world. So we're somewhere in this area here and actually we can identify these things fairly well. So we've got the end of Beef Island here. You see that? Just headland like tapers in there. Headlands are difficult guys because where does it actually stop? Quite hard to tell, right? We go to the end of Cooper Island over there. That one that kind of looks like a crocodile. And then maybe that point that we're heading to right on the bow there. That might work. Remember, the further away the object you're taking, the bearing, the less accurate it's gonna be. So you wanna try and go for three points that are relatively close to us. Let's give this a nudge, guys. Let's say this is the end of Cooper Island. It's about, it's quite tricky, about one, two, zero. Okay, Cooper, to the end of Dead Chest Island. Oh, you'll never guess what. It's a uh, two, one, zero. Final bit is about zero, five, seven. So those are all magnetic, okay? So we need to add our, do our variation, okay? So we're going from magnetic to true, or compass to true. We're gonna add east, take away west. So we're taking away our westerly. Okay, so we're taking off our 13 degrees from all of those. Okay, perfect, right. Moment of truth then. So we've taken the bearing from it to us. So we're just lining that up there. Pencil line across, so do quite long ones with this. Okay, yeah. Okay, 044, the end of Cooper on 07, line from there. Okay, amazing, that was dead man's chest. And this is the final one, so this is where you'll find out like how unstuck you've come. All right, okay, there's our cocked hat. We are somewhere in this triangle. We can either pop ourselves in the middle of our triangle, or if we were close to rocks or some kind of danger, always plot yourself closer to the danger. It's very rough, particularly with a compass that only does zeros and fives. Yeah, I was lucky that two of the coordinates actually were zeros, but even then you're not getting that fine, you know, last little bit. Good magnetic compasses will have all of the digits between your zero and five, so you can get a spot on accurate reading, okay? But to be brutally honest, 
that's not too bad. Okay, given that we're using headlands, things like that, not like super accurate navigational aids, okay? So, we're gonna head over here, have a bit of lunch, anchor up, stuff like that. Okay, then we'll head out again, and have a little look at doing some of these. So there you go, guys. There's a demonstration of a three-point fix. A nice trick if your GPS goes down and you're inside a land, how to figure out where you are, guys. That's it, so have a great day out on the water, guys. I'll see you out there. Sailing budget.